Hello everyone, we're at Rock Studios in Boston, Massachusetts at Automation Fair 2023. And I'm sitting down with my good friend Nick to talk about Factory Talk Design Studio and how we're bringing generative AI to industrial automation. So Nick, uh, maybe introduce yourself first. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, thanks so much everyone for tuning in. I'm Nick Quishin. Uh, I'm an AI cloud solution architect with Microsoft. Been partnering closely with Tony on this new Factory Talk Design Studio capability, and co copilot capability. Copilot capability. <laughs> and uh, my name is Tony Carrera. I am the business manager for Factory Talk Design Studio. And so, what this is, Factory Talk Design Studio, we came out with it last year, cloud SaaS tool for building programs for compact control objects controllers. And so, it's the cloud next generation of uh, design and development for logics. Mm -hmm. And what we saw over the last year that we've talked about, Nick, is the excitement around ChatGPT and oh, generative yeah. AI. And when we looked at what came out there, we saw a lot of opportunities in automation. And, and playing through what we have in Design Studio, we see multi-controller, multi-user, very foundational in the cloud. Mm -hmm. And it seemed like a perfect fit to explore generative AI. And, and that's where we were working with you guys about what is generative AI. Oh, absolutely. And outside of just being probably the hottest thing of 2023, uh, generative AI is just a super enabling technology. Uh, and it is sort of uniquely enabled by cloud scale infrastructure, to your point. Uh, basically having the availability of massive GPU clusters for training these large neural network based mm -hmm. LLMs uh, has really opened up the door and created a lot of possibilities. But uh, you reference models like ChatGPT, like GPT-4, these models are incredibly good at a lot of things. Uh, they can generate creative text, mm -hmm. they can summarize long form text even in uh, highly specific, highly technical domains. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that we've seen they are incredibly good at is generating new code. Mm -hmm. uh, and Tony, I know you've played around with GitHub Copilot. Uh, that's a product that came out in 2021, mm -hmm. and it was originally designed to be kind of that pair programmer assistant that sits alongside you while you're doing your development. Mm -hmm. Now, I sling a lot of Python in my day job, and it's quickly <laughs> become one of my favorite tools. Very easy to take spoken word instructions and convert them into computer code, even for complex tasks. Uh, but we've seen this tool grow and grow and grow, and really it's shifted from just generating code to being able to do things like explain blocks of code, mm -hmm. add inline documentation, even now things like writing functional unit mm -hmm. tests. Uh, and I know that these are all things that have motivated you and your team, so maybe you can talk a little bit about how you're thinking about taking that, uh, taking that vision and, and really implementing it inside of Factory Talk Design Studio. Yeah, absolutely, and I think Nick, like, like we've discussed, the experience with GitHub Copilot really to help software developers. Mm -hmm. How can we bring that to automation? How can we take a lot of those values, whether it's code generation, analyzing code, explaining code, uh, and bring that into autom automation? And that's what we created with uh, at least our prototype this year that everybody's excited about, Factory Talk Design Studio Copilot. And I would say the main theme, and I would think GitHub Copilot has a similar theme, mm -hmm how to give time back to the developer, how to allow them to be freed up to do higher value tasks. So we looked initially at code generation, mm -hmm. like you brought up, and then a question answer. How can I stay in the flow within Design Studio as I have questions, product functionality, what instruction should I use? Mm -hmm. uh, can it explain to me the difference between capabilities? Uh, we started out with those use cases and uh, again, we're pleasantly surprised of how well it did. So the mm -hmm. value we started looking at, again, doing a great co-innovation project with Microsoft, is how do we leverage these large language models, but taking our syntax, our instructions, our best practices, mm -hmm. our data sets, so that's really factored in versus the experience with some of the other models where it seems like it understands automation but it's not producing code sure. that's usable. And that's been the big point of what we've done in this prototype. And, and again, working through how to best leverage that for, for developer productivity. Oh, absolutely. And I know that we had a, uh, a demo on the show floor here today and every single time I walked up there was a massive crowd around, so clearly a ton of interest. Yeah. But you described some of the things that you got started with. You know, mm -hmm. code generation, question answering, uh, some of the different personas and users that you're targeting. Mm -hmm. 
Now, I'm curious, where do you see these co-pilot capabilities going in the future? What's your, your grand vision for the FTDS co-pilot? Yeah, then, and, and it seems like it'd be, it could be an infinite list of possibilities, but as we looked at code creation and the Q&A, but the code creation, really foundational points around, can it take a natural language prompt, create mean code that does this, and create example code, but then also explain that code? So the code creation might not be the most valuable, mm -hmm. but it's those foundational pieces. Now we've had a lot, a lot of users saying, if I create code in Factory Talk Design Studio on my own, can I use Copilot to explain that to me, to understand it, to help me with documentation? And that's, it's kind of gone all over the map, but going forward, we look at the typical controls engineer life cycle, of things they're doing, and, and from a time study standpoint, how can we give time back to a user? But as we're looking at documentation, research they're doing, anything they're trying to seek uh, answers on to help, can we have this be their programming partner so they could ask questions, non-judgmental questions, as we've learned <laughs> that are a big strength of these models, and, and be able to get answers, concise answers in the flow of Design Studio versus jumping out to the internet, doing research, kind of takes you out of that flow. Mm -hmm. You're doing your own research versus something that's more natural language. Uh, so that's why, uh, again, some of the use cases we've worked through with, with you guys have really revealed that as, as strong, realistic areas we're gonna go in the future. Well, I, I think it's just such a fantastic offering and I think it's so smart how you're leveraging you know, all of the rich content, all the rich expertise mm -hmm. that you have on the Rockwell side to mm -hmm. deliver better experiences, to make your developers and, and your customers more productive, mm -hmm. and really to achieve that goal of giving people time back. I think that uh, FTDS Copilot is just absolutely fantastic for that. Mm -hmm. Any final thoughts, anything you'd like to share about uh, mm -hmm. what you and the team have put together? Yeah, what I would say is, uh, for people that want to at least learn Factory Talk Design Studio that hasn't been, uh, haven't been exposed to it, they could go to the Rockwell Automation website, uh, go look up Factor Talk Design Studio, and there's a Try Me button on that site that will take you in. In the near term, it's no charge to look at it, but it would be good to become familiar with it, and then we're going to be do, uh, doing many preview releases over the next year, allowing people to engage, get feedback, and what I would say is they could reach out to us if they're interested in doing that preview release. Absolutely. Well, I highly recommend people do that. It's such a cool product. Yep. Final notes before we close? Yeah, what I would say is uh, thanks for the great partnership with Microsoft. Uh, it's been a great co-innovation cool project, and we look forward to a, a great 2024, and, and thanks again for Rock Studios for giving us the opportunity to present this information out. A ton of excitement ton of feedback and uh, we're looking to take this into the product in the near term so thank you.